Every okay. every bozo, okay, trunk slamming, jagaloo, thinks he's going to go out Jamoke. and uh, Jamoke thinks he's going to go out and buy a chop saw, and all of a sudden he's a finished carpenter. <laughs> Sorry to be so harsh, people, but it, it really is reality in today's industry uh, of construction. Everybody's looking for a shortcut, and uh, it's just not what we're about. So we're going to teach you how to do it the right way. So this uh, just keeps it all together. What keeps it all like together? Like if you put two butt no, ends together, joint. right? Eventually it could separate is what you're saying. Yeah, it's going up. Wood expands and contracts, right? You ever, ever, yeah, in, the, wet wood, in, in yeah. the winter time, right? The cold and the heat, yeah. Between, the, in, the, in the winter time, you ever like open your door and it opens real easy? Yeah. And then in the summertime, yeah. you're it's like, oh man, time. the door's sticking. Why? Yeah. Because wood expands the and contracts. The humidity in the air. Same thing with your molding. Same thing. Don't be a jagaloo. What's that lead Don't do? be a jagaloo, Nick. Okay, first you make you make your, your 45, right, to expose the edge. Mm -hmm. Then you have to cut the tail off here, this, this flat part. You have to cut that flat. Okay. See that? Mm -hmm. And then this, this profile gets coped. <clears throat> So first you're going to want to clamp your molding down. You want to hold it very still while you're, you're coping your profile. And you're going to start by making relief cuts. You'll see right here the, the molding gets kind of thin there at the edge. You want to take some time and cut relief so that you can actually cut the profile out and fit the kerf of your saw through the molding without cutting through it so or snapping it. So we cut some relief cuts and then we cut out our profile. As you can see, you know, this this part of the process is time consuming while making the cut, but it's these extra steps that's going to create a better finished product. Also, you're spending a little bit more time here making your, your inside cope, cope cut, but there's no question about it. Once you put the molding in place, it's going, it's going to fit. Your inside corner will be appropriate. You won't have to adjust the angle of your molding to close a gap. After you're finished with your coping saw, and when you use your coping saw, you're going to want to get as close as possible, but you're, you know, you're going to leave some of the wood closest to the edge of the profile. It's just inevitable. So you're going to fine tune the joint with a good old file. Okay, that should be good. Take these up just in case. Fine tuning. As you can see, we've we brought our piece inside. Once we push from right to left into the chair rail that's already hung, the gap will disappear and we'll be ready for prep and paint on that piece of chair rail. If you like this video, we hope you give it a like. If you have any questions or like us to elaborate further. Feel free to go to the comment section below. Fire away. We'd love to answer them. If you disagree with this, you know, go ahead, hit that dislike button. But once again, leave it in the comments section below. Tell us why you disagree with us. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos just like this one. And as always, thanks a lot and have a great day.